Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own reading. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have Oracle cards here. Uh, and we're going to pull a rune in this reading. We just uh, did that over, over at Virgo's house. Yeah, we did, you guys. So let's see what we have. And we have a few Oracle cards here. Uh, these, these cards are turned down. We're going to talk about those a little bit later. But so far we have We Are the World, Change, and Guilt. And we have They'll Never Let You Go from my deck, which will be you know for sale pretty soon. And they don't feel good enough, and they'll be back. So this is very clear here that this person uh, with the guilt especially, they feel guilty and they don't feel good enough, probably because they've done something to you, Sagittarius, right? Mm-hmm. And here's this lady, and she's, uh, she's, you know, she has all these creepy hands kind of trying to scratch her head or pull her hair or something. And this is a uh, guilt that she, you know, she's feeling guilty. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And this is going to be your own reading, but clearly this is already about somebody else. Oh, yes, it is. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius. We have Dreaming Johnny. Yeah, somebody's dreaming of you right now, Sagittarius. Here he is. Uh, so a blondie guy here. And here he is uh, walking right on this kind of dock. It's it, There's a break in it. He doesn't see it. And he's because his heads are in the cloud about somebody he's in love with. He's uh, looking up here at the birds and the butterflies. Like, I can't wait for my new beginning. <laughs> Let's see what else we have with Sagittarius. Show me the, show me the energy for Sagittarius. We have... Uh, okay, and then we have these two cards here. We have the split. Yeah, this is like two people who are like, these people are breaking up. He's clenching his fists at her, or they're in a, this is called a disagreement, but it is also known as the split. Somebody could be splitting. We have the split down the middle of the earth here, and they have the sword here, and she's holding her arms up like they're in a major argument here. Showing up with this card here, uh, and this card talks about character assassination. Somebody could be like criticizing somebody here or being mean to them. This can be gossip. Mm-hmm. Maybe somebody's gossiping that somebody wants a new beginning in love with you, Sagittarius. This could be your energy, but uh, it could be a switch, right? Because this is uh, definitely about you and your person. It is. Let's pull a rune and let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Uh, for Sagittarius, please. For for Sagittarius. I'm just going to take all these out and kind of see what we have for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. And we have the M here, and uh, we're going to look at that. I feel like that's a really good rune. Uh, and so it is in the upright, right? Most of them that are in the upright are, are good runes or positive for your life, right? And you know, when we get a when we get a negative one, we learn from it, right? So no big deal, even if it's like, you know. But let's have a look at it. It does look like it's ready to go in a nice way. Let's see what we got. Uh for and so that is Awas, yes. And there's another rune that looks just like it or sounds just like it. Let's see. Okay, so uh it doesn't look like it though. No, so that's a good thing. So Awas, let's have a look at Awas. Mm-hmm. And this is old uh, kind of Viking uh, language. And this is horse, right? Eeyore in Viking, right? Awas literally means horse. This rune is closely connected to a trip, both in the physical and in the metaphorical or spiritual sense. So, you know, we know so this person, somebody wants to return to you here. Maybe they have been taking a trip emotionally, right? Maybe you have. You could be dreaming about this person at night, possibly. This can, take, this can talk about a real trip that you're going to go on, Sagittarius, right? And it is the rune of progress or advancement in a career. This talks about movement because it is the horse. And it indicates the importance of findings, finding one's place in the world, this rune is connected to in independence and the effort required in obtaining it. Its energy helps one to come out of one's shell and to open up to the world. Mm -hmm. Positive alliance, trip, discovery of faraway worlds, expression of your potential, fame, great energy resources. This talks about like having the courage for a journey, whatever that journey is, like a new career, returning to you, to be with you, to love you. Right? 
And AWOS calls us to action and movement. Everything transforms and our job is to follow the flow of events without becoming static and fearful. Somebody already feels fearful here. And, you know, this talks about them not feeling, uh, you know, it can say just get rid of the fear because you can't go on a journey with fear. It's really hard, right? Uh, you're already putting a negative uh, uh, kind of, uh, a negative kind of, I can't think of the word here, negativity to it, right? Life is an adventurous trip. This is the message of this rune that has a huge potential of energy and success within it. Whatever age we are, it's never too late to begin a new, uh -huh, a new undertaking. And then it goes, uh, it goes to talk about the warning. And the warning, really, uh, Sagittarius, is uh, the warning is not don't don't back down. Go for it. The warning is to go after a dream that you really want here. And this could be your person's energy. I feel like it is. I feel like this person wants to come back, like, tonight, Sagittarius. So be ready with your, you know, uh, your lacy get-up. Or, you know, if you're, if you're a guy, uh, you know, wear something sexy. That's what we got. <laughs> you guys could just wear, like, sexy underwear. Let's see what we have, right? Yeah, it's easier for a guy to see what we got for Sagittarius. Show me the energy for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. The chariot. Look at that. This is just like the horse, right? This is about movement here. You have the three of pentacles, the nine of swords, the devil. For Sagittarius, the star, and the king of pentacles is coming soon right here. So this is your Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Let's see what we have. Your dynamic with this other person is the Two of Cups. So uh, this is how others might affect you. This could be saying you're really in love with this person. This is how you are affecting them, the Queen of Wands. Uh, you know, I mean, that's pretty cool that the Queen of Wands shows up there. This means that they are very in love with you. It does, uh, right? Especially in the context of all these other cards. Let's see what we have. Your hopes and fears is the Five of Wands. Your outcome will be shown in the other reading. And it can be their outcome because even though these are, I'm putting, laying these cards down literally for you, Sagittarius, uh, this is definitely your story with this person, right? And let's pull, push, uh, turn these cards over now. We have Heart with a Key, Girl Talk, and Heart Broken. So uh, we know this is definitely about love. We see the word heart twice, right? And, you know, heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one. Okay, open your heart. This person thinks you're the one. Getting together, perfect. OMG, right? This person has a key to your heart. And, you know, this can also say, open your heart to them, Sagittarius. It could, because we have the guilt card here, right? Uh, and, you know, we have guilt, and they don't feel good enough. I feel like you... You might have to be like, you know, show a little tenderness from your heart. It's possible if you want this person back. I don't know what they've done, you guys. You guys be making, you know, uh, they tried to decapitate me uh, Sunday night, right? <laughs> that is, if that's the case, then, you know, please don't have any compassion for them, right? Uh, but let's see what else we have. You're worried, though, or you are expecting expecting them to be worried. Maybe you're hip to them already, Sagittarius, like... Maybe you understand this person. Maybe they have to leave somebody here. We have the split. Right? It's possible that they have to leave somebody else to be with you. We also have girl talk. This talks about, uh, you know, this can, it can talk about time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment and having fun. This person may have to be single. They could be married to somebody. Somebody could be gossiping about them. We have that card here. Or the person, if they are leaving somebody here, it's possible uh, that this their person is like attacking their character. Like, you're a son of a bitch or, or whatever, right? Uh, and so, uh, we don't talk about anybody's mother here. But, you know, I mean, I'm just saying that, yeah, and it's kind of an old expression, right? But... Let's see what we have here, you guys. Um, yeah, you guys, hope, don't listen if you're if you're politically correct. Don't you're not. I'm not the right reader, you guys. Yeah, you should probably go listen to somebody else if you are like easily kind of offended or 
you know, because that's what really the whole political correct thing is. Yeah, it's about how it's about easily offending people, so we will all be at odds with each other. Yeah. So let's continue here, though, Sagittarius, because uh, this person I feel like is trying to move on from or is moving on from somebody else. I feel like they are. Yeah. We also have heartbroken. See, this could be them. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. I feel like your person's coming from another union and they're grieving uh, because of their guilt for you and possibly because of their guilt for somebody else. Maybe guilt for both, right? Because it looks like they're hurting themselves. They're moving on, but they're hurting. This is really one of those, you know, half cup, half uh, full half cup and yeah half full half empty half full right where somebody feels I believe kind of really heartbroken to come to you but happy to come to you as well it looks like both but they don't think they don't feel good enough here Sagittarius and this card over here is telling you to open your heart heart with a key and we are the world is here this is uh, we have like all these people dancing and holding hands this talks about you guys coming together after a completion, the number 10. And then we have change. And this is part of their major arcana here, this number 10. This is like the Wheel of Fortune here. That's what this is in their deck, in their particular deck, because the Wheel of Fortune is the number 10. And it can talk about change, faded changes. Yeah. So let's get into this. Here you have the the chariot and the three of pentacles and the devil is showing up here somebody's in the devil's house i don't think it's you i feel like you are expecting this person to be worried over here sagittarius it's possible you've been worried but i think that you are expecting them you could know somebody's leaving somebody to be with you i don't know if you know intuitively or with your logical mind because they told you or something like that right with your uh yeah, let's see what else we have for Sagittarius. Eight of Swords. This looks just like Virgo's reading. Very similar here. I don't know if they are. Uh, maybe your person is Virgo. We have the King of Pentacles here. Maybe they're Capricorn. They could be Taurus as well. Here you are, Sagittarius. In the Eight of Swords energy, feeling stuck, repressed. Maybe how do I get out of this, right? Uh... You could be in a victim mindset. This could be somebody else. This could be the kind of energy where you're just waiting and, you know, you can't break this fence until they show up here, right? You can't kind of uh, release yourself from these, these thoughts, these kind of negative thoughts. Because you want a victory with them and you want to work things out with this person, Three of Pentacles. This is working together right here. And you might have been in this energy. Maybe they maybe they had you in a third party, possibly. Maybe there's just three people here. Because who's ever dreaming over here, dreaming Johnny, Sagittarius, is most likely uh, not the same as this couple here, right, who is fighting, who are fighting, that couple. They're fighting. Let's see what else we have. You have the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So... You're expecting somebody, uh, this could be you, just waiting for them to bring this cup of love, right? Uh, if this is connected to Virgo's reading, uh, Virgo doesn't think that you, they're worried if you still love them, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like they are. And this could be them here. They don't feel good enough right here. They're not letting you go, though. And so let's see, you could be expecting them to be really worried if you'll take their cup maybe or worried about bringing you this offer ace of swords possibly about a decision they might have had to make a decision you have a victory coming in a journey because remember this card awas talks about taking a trip or a movement or a journey and you have that here yeah, this this is this person's gonna come here. Your first card is a chariot. I feel like they're coming, but you're not. You, I feel like you're waiting for some of you guys. You're waiting for them to show up, but you're you're just like 
there's a, a little doubt here. Maybe maybe because time has, you know, time can really kind of upset people. Like, why is it taking so long? Maybe that's the situation you're you're dealing with, right? It's a possibility here. Mm-hmm. So we have, and this could be about a decision, a victory, with this Ace of Swords. I feel like somebody had to make a decision to come to you. Your, your, this is your ex, most likely, right? I feel like they are heartbroken. Maybe it's you, but you could be expecting they're heartbroken right here. I feel like you just feel stuck. I'm not sure. Maybe you've been heartbroken in the past, possibly. We have the Devil, the Page of Wands. And this is coming into play. Somebody is in bondage about this renewal. I feel like this is a renewal. Uh, somebody is in bondage about this new path or a renewal, both. Possibly the sun card. This could be a Capricorn here. Could definitely be. If it's Capricorn, this is just all about a new beginning right here. All about a new, a new path. This is about a reunion anyway, right? Uh, and, you know, this can talk about joy coming here, the sun card. But somebody here feels stuck, like, like oppressed, like chained. I feel like somebody's breaking a chain here, breaking chains, like uh, branching out here. And I feel like they're probably separating from somebody here. We have separation with the heartbroken card. And I feel like they are coming on this path. But they feel, they're, they're scared here. Yeah, they're in fear with the devil. And we have the star card. And this is the three of wands, Sagittarius. So, you know, this here is what you feel stuck about here. About a future and a new beginning with this person. And a healing with the star. We have the king of pentacles and the queen of swords. Here you are discerning here all about this person. Are they coming? This could be them discerning as well. I feel like you're waiting here. For, for many of you, you're like waiting. Like, when are they going to show up? You might know this person really loves you. Maybe they told you, I'm leaving so-and-so to be with you. It doesn't look like there's communication here. There could be right here a page of wands coming into play. I feel like somebody's coming... Uh, coming, your person's coming here with fear. But major clarity, what they want in their life, it looks like. Let's see what else we have. The world card. This is all coming into play. This is ending a cycle, a brand new cycle. This is somebody getting their wish. This could be you in kind of, or your person. But looking at these cards here, I feel like this is your person who is in bondage. But they're coming. They're coming. I feel like they're coming to bring you joy. Let's get a card here on the Queen of Pentacles and the King. Here you are discerning about this earth sign, it looks like. And we have the Six of Pentacles. You could be wondering here about them. It could be about this other person. I feel like there's three people here for sure. But I don't feel like you're like with this person. But uh, as I said, it looks like... They could be leaving another situation, but you could be discerning here. Uh, possibly, this could be your person. Discerning whether or not they're going to have an equal give and take union with you because they have guilt and they're worried. Ace of Wands. Wow. So you have the Sun card, the World card, and the Ace of Wands all coming soon, Sagittarius. And look how beautiful this is. The Star is here. The Two of Cups. This is how other this how this is how this person affects you. You're in love with them. And the Hierophant. Let's get another card. And the King of Swords. I feel like this person's in love with you and they made a decision here about possibly about a marriage they're in, maybe, but they're definitely making made a decision. Uh, and I feel like you totally believe in this and they believe in this. This is why they'll be back. This is why they're coming back. They really believe in this. Yeah, they do. And how you affect other people. Somebody could, this person could be rejecting somebody for you. Queen of Wands, Four of Cups. This is a card of rejection here. And unhappiness. 
It's possible you made somebody realize how unhappy they were in another union. Three of Swords. Yeah, look at that. This is how you affect other people. I feel like somebody's heartbroken here. And we have this heartbroken card. Grieving and mourning and sep separation. We have the Five of Wands. This is your hopes and fears. And the King of Wands. Mm-hmm. This is you. Uh, this is... This is a, you could be fearing, maybe, uh, I feel like you're kind of afraid here that this person, this other person could feel really challenged. This could be you feeling super challenged about a turning point. Fives are about change. We see change right here. And it's right next to we are the world. This is beautiful change down here. We have the sun card next to the world here. This we are the world talks about expansion for sure. You actually could be hoping that they'll leave somebody out, Sagittarius. Five of Pentacles, five of Wands. You could be hoping that. We're going to look at your outcome, and we're going to see how they feel about you. Uh, and we're also going to have their whole spread here, their current energy, what's coming in for them, uh, right? What's unfolding for them, their past thoughts, what their, what, they, what their goal is, right? Their hopes and fears, and the dynamic between you both. We're going to see that as well in the other spread. They're all super affordable. I really want to see this. We're also going to use this deck for part, yeah, this particular deck over here and the traditional tarot. They're all super affordable. The link is below. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.